Hi, it's Jesse from BoldGrid. I'm here today to help out one of our users. Um, this is from user named Jim. Um, Jim had his website designed by a third party in the BoldGrid Swifty theme, and he's got a couple of main objectives. Um, he wants to go ahead and um, change his title here to a logo, um, but also wants to display his tagline in addition to the logo, um, which doesn't happen by default in the bull grid themes. Um, there's also some issues with this menu. Um, we want to get this menu so that it's over here on the right um, and looks nice. So let's go ahead and get started with the logo first. Um, so go to customize uh, site title and logo. Um, so by default with the text version, we've got your site title and tagline here. Um, so let's go ahead and add a logo. And this is a logo I just got from a, a stock logo company. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure that the entire logo is displayed. And as you can see by default, the theme has removed the text from the site title and the tagline and replaced it with the logo here. Um, so how do we get that tagline to still show up? Let's go back and go to Advanced uh, Custom JavaScript and CSS. And let's go ahead and grab the selector for that tagline, which is the tagline is actually still here. It's just invisible. So uh, this, the right selector for that is h3.sitedescription.invisible. And all I'm going to do uh, at first here is change the visibility to visible. And so you can see it popped up here. We've got the tagline showing up now. Um, so <clears throat> Jim also mentioned that he'd like it to show to the right of the logo instead of below it. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, so what we're going to do is select the um, div dot site title, which is where the logo is. And we're just going to tell it to float on the left. And now you can see that the tagline moved over to the right of the logo, which is pretty close to what we were looking for. Um, it might look better if it were uh, more vertically centered. So let's go ahead and add to the H3 here uh, padding on the top of, let's take a guess, at 40 pixels. Um, Jim, you might have to change that 40 pixel to match what your logo size actually is. So you can play around with that till it looks right. Um, I think that looks pretty decent right there. So we'll go ahead and call that good. Um, okay, so we've got the logo displaying with the tagline on the right now. Um, so let's talk about this menu. Um, one of the things that you mentioned is that you wanted it over on the right side. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, let's head back to our customize menus and that is the primary menu which is currently in the header bottom menu location. Um, so a couple of ways you can accomplish moving it to the top right. Um, the easiest way is just to move it to the primary menu area and that will basically get it uh, centered um, with your logo and your line here. Um, and that also has the added benefit of in the mobile views, the primary menu will actually change to a hamburger. Um, so that'll give your users a, a better mobile experience if you have it in the primary location. Um, however, that said, if you uh, do want it um, in the above location that you mentioned before, you can move it to the header top. And that'll show up here centered by default. So how do we fix that? Let's go back to our advanced custom CSS. And we will say that the hashtag um, secondary menu. And we'll align the text on the right. So that will give it um, this look here up at the top. That does move your logo and your tagline down a little bit, um, but it sounds like that's kind of what you're going for, so that'll work. Um, let's see how it looks in the mobile view. So in the mobile view, it does not collapse to the hamburger, um, but it is. it does look pretty decent and it will give your users a good experience. Um, so I hope that answers your questions, Jim. Um, if you're still struggling with um, getting anything to look the way that you want, um, just let us know. 
and we'll be happy to help. Thanks, Jim.